in cricket, the shorter the format, the more likely it is for a team to spring a surprise. And with the men's, I, the USA men's cricket team looking to make their mark on the upcoming ICC men's T20 World Cup, it would be foolhardy to take them for granted. They have recently named a quality 15-man squad for the June 1st, the 29th tournament, jointly to be hosted by the USA and the West Indies. It includes former New Zealand player, Corey Anderson, and T20 bowling star, Ali Khan. Welcome to another edition of At The Middle. I'm your host, Cavalli Arnold, with guest Clayton Lambert, former USA player, coach, and selector who also played international cricket for the West Indies. Welcome, Clayton. Good morning. Morning. And, and nice to have you here. How's your morning, morning so far? Um, it's been good. Thank oh. you for asking. Yeah, good to have you. And, and as I just said, that when we look at the, the squad recently named for the upcoming World Cup, it is it is a good look for the US. I think you 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 have a wealth of knowledge on on US cricket, um, given you know player, coach, selector. Um, not many people boast those credentials. Um, when we let let's start by looking at the squad in in general. Um, what's your take on the squad um, that they have assembled um, in terms of its its quality for the World Cup? Um, the inclusion of the new set of players that just became available um, to the U.S. has definitely made the squad a lot more balanced and it has brought a lot of experience um, to the team and I think that they, they're going to play a lot better because um, in past, it might be the big occasion that would cause the, the guys not to play well. But I don't think that the big occasion would feature as much now. Yeah, because I think a lot of these players now um, are more comfortable playing in the, in the, on the big, bigger stage because of adding some big, bigger, bigger name um, players. And we'll get a little bit closer into into the, the the particular players, but in terms of let's start with with the leadership of of that group, and if we should look at Manang Patel, and will be leading the squad for for the for the World Cup. Talk to me, you that um, worked with him in the past. Talk to me about his leadership and what he will bring. Um, when I became a selector, um. Sarov um, was the captain and we wanted him to focus more on his bowling. So we um, asked Manang to lead the team. To date, he has done a pretty solid job. I mean, all of us make our mistakes. Yeah. But um, I think that the team has... Um, respected him and the way he has conducted his business and now he has the help of a lot of even more senior players that have played at a higher level than him yes. so hopefully that would help and having a new coach um it's just up to the players to buy into his system and the way he wants things to be done. Yeah, as a former player, coach, and selector, now what advice would you give to, to Manang, Manang Patel, as, you know, in terms of motivation, motivating his team to get the best performance out of the team for the World Cup? Um, he's got to um, be fair with everyone, um, the way he assesses things and try to let guys know um, how he's thinking ahead of when he's going to make that particular decision. 
and I think that would work. Okay. Um. All right. We, we've touched on on Monang, but let's look a little bit even closer at the some of the other name players, as you said, in the in the squad. If we should look at the likes of Corey Anderson, I think Corey Anderson, having played in three World Cups, is you know that sort of big name player coming into in into the squad um recently um played on the they played the 50 over world cup at home and, and i must just have at home because this is a home World Cup also for the us played the 50 over world cup in 2015 at home new zealand made it to the finals he was a big part of that he also played the uh, the, the 2014 and 16 t20 world cup so he played two t20 world cups and he was an important part of those teams as well for new zealand um now first let's touch on him as uh, coming into the squad and what he will bring to the to the squad as somebody who would have played higher level cricket you have had that experience playing high level for west indies and then going into into that us team in in its days of early development um when i played for us i tried to look to see what the team needed mm -hmm. and even though i had opened for the west indies i thought if i batted at number six it would be um a key position for the us and i'm hoping that corey um adapts that same attitude and yes um brings you know gives what he has not just as a player but his experience and um you know the wealth of knowledge that he's bringing to the team yeah what talk to me a little bit about what do you think what are the factors that maybe would have influenced you know his change um the the changes that we would have seen in the squad um firstly in terms of Corey and this going over to play as somebody who would have been in that position we think in influence that so much for him to want to play for the us um to bring something well i mean when he was um when he had finished playing for new zealand and you know he probably wanted a break but you know cricket is in his blood and being here and especially playing in the inaugural um major league tournament he, he he did really well so i think that may be one of the factors that has him you know have him he's he's hungry again and you know i think that could have influenced him really wanting to be in this particular world cup team Yeah, and and then when we look at <coughs> other players uh, that came into the squad, you would have you would have looked at Andres Andres Gauss, um, um, Van Van Chalkwick, right? And and those players from, from those are from from South Africa. They would have played on the 19 cricket and so on for, for South Africa. When you you look at you know Gajan and Singh and all of those, and a lot quite a number of players who would have played age group cricket at least for other countries you know india and, and maybe pakistan and so on we have um some really good players some really good pieces um around the likes of Ahmadan patel ali khan who we will touch on in um shortly and as we said Corey anderson his name alone says it all um all of those players coming into the squad waiting about what they will bring to the squad and coming in from all the different type of type of players and the chemistry that is necessary to make this squad click for this um important um tournament a, a lot of those players um that came into the us team recently they probably felt well the door was closing for the respective countries and the hunger to play at the very high level is what brought them to the us and i'm sure that they get this opportunity they're going to try to seize it yeah it would be it would be good to see these guys seize seize that sort of opportunity um 
let me just touch on one last thing before 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 we, we go to looking at um the squad chances maybe of getting out of the group and all of those other things but if we should look at you as a former selector because they they, they made some changes to the squad before the um that played canada won four nil against canada um comfortably before before the before naming the world cup squad as a selector what are the qualities that you think that that you guys will be looking for the current selectors will be looking for in assembling this squad the skill set and and all of that that these guys will bring well when you pick um any team you you have to look for balance and i think that this squad is a very balanced squad mm -hmm. to start off with um batten has experience and depth in the spin department i think that um two of the best spinners in us left arm spinners have been included and they have Steven Taylor that they can use as a part-time off spinner. He, he did um, really well in the major league tournament um, bowling off spin. And he is a better bowler than a lot of people think because most people see him more as a batsman. But mm -hmm. he is a solid off spinner. Um, in the same department, like you said, we, we have Ali Khan, Jesse Singh, Chad Lee, and we also um Sarov, who is has been one of our better bowlers um consistently over the years. And you know le a left arm seamer is a must um at this level, especially one that has the ability to swing the ball back into the right handers. Yeah. And you also have Corey that can you know, split maybe four overs with one of the the other bowlers that's not doing so well. So there's there's a lot of balance um, in the way they approached it. And there's two wicket keepers in Cheyenne and the captain. So I think we cover injuries. You know, if if the keeper should go down, and um, I can't complain about the way that the the team has been assembled. Yeah, um, I must look at the fact that they are playing at home in terms of maybe that sort of home advantage and fan support, or as well as preparation for preparations um, and match readiness for the World Cup. Let's first look at, at preparation. Um, the, the, the team has played against, um, well, they are, let, let's look at the group. They are drafted in group with Pakistan, India, Canada, and Ireland. Um, how would they prepare mentally and physically in, in terms of these high pressure encounters um, that they will face? Um, I personally thought that we we started a bit late because um, prior to our selection trials and stuff, most of the other teams um, were involved in um t20 tournaments um against international competition mm -hmm. and you know us even though it's a rich country cricket in us is not rich yeah. right the us cricket board doesn't have the funds and because of that there are a lot of constraints so i mean that part i i wasn't happy with but I kind of understand. But since the squad have been assembled and we, we played against uh, um, Canada, um, we also have a series coming up against, um, I think it's Bangladesh, yeah. prior to the World Cup. And I think that's going to give the coach a good opportunity to start preparing his lineup in the in a manner that he thinks can be competitive yeah i think it will really give a good opportunity to look at that starting 11 as you said because um bangladesh is real quality opposition to, to play against um 
let me look at the, the, the home advantage before we look at their chances of getting out of the group. You're playing at home, right? It's jointly hosted by the um, US and the West Indies. Um, how, how much do you think the fan support um, would bring to the, to the team's performance? Because as you said, cricket is not necessarily the biggest thing in, in, in the US, but when we look at the Asian community, <coughs> so it is, it is, it, they are, they are cricket fanatics also in the US. So how much in terms of um, that home support do you think will matter? I think it's only going to matter because um, we have better knowledge of the conditions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the pitches in the U.S. are not great as yet because we're still learning how to build them. Okay. Um, fun, if you have any knowledge on um, purchasing tickets, it, it has been a mess. And a lot of people have wanted to go watch the cricket, weren't able to, to get tickets. Um, tickets were coming at a ridiculous price, um, thousands of dollars. And, you know, people weren't prepared to, to pay that type of money. So, and that's for uh, right? or, or, because uh, if you're looking at the World Cup, they, I know they would have portals and so on. Um, maybe it's a little bit more structured and would get more because it's an ICC tournament. So maybe getting tickets would be easier. Uh, what do you think? No, that that didn't happen here. Um, oh. You know, tickets were like on StubHub and stuff. People are trying to get tickets. Um, mm -hmm. So the local people here um, did not get a lot of tickets. And a lot of the a lot of people that play cricket here are of Pakistani and Indian um, descent, mm -hmm. and if West Indies come and play here, I'm sure that most West Indians would want West Indies to win. So a lot of um, of the supporters yeah. would more support. India or Pakistan rather than um, West Indies because they want to see those international um, stars perform. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that, that part of home advantage is not going to be here, <laughs> to, you know, um, <laughs> and you can't be yeah. annoyed with anyone. Yeah, I understand because, um, yeah, you know, if people from Pakistan would want to see Babas and make a, a, a lot of runs, and sometimes even at the expense of playing against the US, they still would want to see um, their, their superstars, the Virat Kohli's and, and Sir Kumar Yadav do well and Bumrah taking wickets. So they would want to see that sort of thing. Um, so I can understand that. But um, I, I ho I'm hoping that they get that sort of opportunity and the turnout is good. Right for these games because I think in the in the major league cricket the turnout was really good, and if you can get that sort of turnout again for for these games and even more because it's a World Cup, I, I think that would that would look good for the tournament and look good and do well for U.S. cricket. But the difference being that for major league cricket, mm -hmm. the fans got a chance to buy the tickets. Oh. It was easy to access tickets um however for the world cup everyone is complaining because it's uh, impossible to get tickets so yeah. i don't know what the turnout would be like okay so i guess i get guess part of the problem is that the tickets are just made available right to everyone and a lot of the players the other fans from around the world are just going in and grabbing all the tickets and there, there, there isn't any provision really for, I, I think I'm just asking if that's what you're trying to say, that there isn't any special maybe provision for the U.S. fans to, to particularly get tickets from a, a USA cricket standpoint. Um, they've got, they're on their own when it comes to tickets. I, I don't think that um, 
the U.S. board. You see, this tournament is being run by ICC. Yeah. And I don't think that the U.S. board can go in and say, well, hey, we need 10,000 tickets or whatever. Oh. Right? Um, the, the tickets, um, there was a, 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 a raffle or something like that. Yeah. And everyone received emails saying that they did not, um, you know, qualify for tickets. So yeah. I don't know who got tickets. And, you know, that's a talk. Everybody is complaining, you know, about um, not being able to acquire tickets or not prepared to pay the type of money that the ticket mm -hmm. is, is being offered for. And, and I guess also that is a little bit of a conundrum. Um, that's maybe the downside. Let me not say conundrum. That's maybe a little bit of the downside of being in a group with Pakistan and India because their fan following is so much. And these people, they, they, they are, and they are in the US. Um, some of them are in the US. Some will be flying over and stuff like that. So they've already bought got bought a lot of these tickets so it makes it a little bit more difficult um for the u.s fans well having um pakistan and india play here is a big drawing card because um you know in in u.s um the most of the people that play cricket are from commonwealth countries yeah right um you don't have a lot of u.s born players i mean it's happening they're coming along because in the academies and stuff a lot of the kids are being born here but um you know probably only stephen taylor um was born here mm -hmm. everyone else kind of relocated and um most of the people that watch cricket are from commonwealth countries so I think the alliance will be from the mother country rather than, um, you know, U.S. But people would still want to see U.S. perform well. They give a yeah. good account of themselves. But, you know, in their heart, um, they probably would feel that Pakistan or India has a better chance of getting to the finals. So they probably would more support those guys yeah and with that being said let's just segue a little bit now into um the u.s chance of getting out of the group because let me throw let me throw uh, an interesting scenario to you please if we look at the canada four nil um recent win it's not the same it's a tournament now but four nil recent win they've been ireland before Right, and when we look at Pakistan and India, those are two two teams that you would expect to get out of the group, and it would be difficult to beat those teams given ICC rankings and all of that. But Ireland, I think it was just recently, just last week, late last week, Ireland beat Pakistan in a, in the first game of that T20 series that they that they are currently playing, and if when look when when. When we look at it from that standpoint, Pakistan looks beatable. Um, if you have a good day and they even maybe not have their best day, because we know Pakistan can blow hot and cold in an ICC tournament. Sometimes they come, they are looking good, but a lot of times, you, you know, they come and they just don't turn up in the way they should. So with that being said, that scenario to you, do you see U.S.? having a chance of getting out of this group. I personally believe that if you play cricket, you have a chance to win. Yes. Right? And um, everything is possible. Um, the only problem here is that the World Cup brings out the best in everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Everyone wants to be there in the playoffs and, and subsequently try to get to the finals. Um, like you said, U.S., do, they have a chance. Um, but 
when you look at the last major league, our bowlers were solid, mm -hmm. but only Cheyenne and Corey Anderson showed any sort of promise with the bat. Yeah. So it's gonna be an adjustment because um the bowling attacks would be more balanced than than a major league attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And these guys are playing for king and country. They they come in, you know, and leaving everything on the table. So mm -hmm. it is doable, like you said. But the players don't want to sit back and think, well, okay, this guy's gonna lie down and die for me. Yeah. Right? Because um the thing about the international teams is that all of the players have been there and done that. Um <clears throat> thank you. they're gonna be playing a lot more loose than US will be playing. Because um even the new players that came in and wanted this opportunity. It's a big day, right? But to the other international teams, it, you know, it's they've been there, done that, know how to battle out of bad situations and stuff, you know, and not panic. If four wickets down, they're still gonna come and try to bat back Jadeja or whomever, and and get a score that they can defend. Whereas, you know, the pressure might start mounting on our guys. So, having said all that, we're playing cricket and there will be opportunities. The way we approach, you know, those particular situations is going to be key. Yeah, I hope that the, the World Cup brings the best out of the U.S. as well, because even though they're coming, coming um, with that sort of... Um, coming to play their best at the World Cup, we, we, we could see this, this the same thing. Um, as well as their bowlers, um, the fact that you are, you, that, that novelty factor with unknown sometimes can come and, and can, can be a big asset for a team. And as just on the screen there, I don't know if you saw it, there were some, there are cases where in World Cups we've seen, um, and in these tournaments we've seen you know, teams for the spring of surprise from nowhere, you know, um, top of table ahead of a team who you'd expect to get out. So I'm hoping that the U.S. can have that and and something um, they have to do. And, and, and I love that quote um, that, that I heard um, recently that I hope they play for each other and not try to compete against each other. And if they do that and play as a team, then that sort of chemistry will, will come to the fore and, and they will just do well. I, I hope that's possible. Well, I, I know they, they, they will be. There, there's a lot of love um, for each other in, in that particular team. And, and they've played with and against each other in a lot of T20 tournaments around the country. Because in, in US, there's lots of T20 tournaments. Right. Um, my my only thing is that they haven't like had enough exposure to full nation countries. Right, as a group, yeah. and and you know that is something that, um, if possible, like West Indies just sent a team to Nepal. It would have been great if that team had come here. You know, yeah. then, you know, you know, it will be pushing us and the more, you know, you get into adverse conditions, you learn how to get out of them. Right. But, um, you know, like I said, it might have been financial constraints that um, stopped, you know, the preparation from starting. But I do believe that. Um, most of the teams and and even the good players are presently playing IPL and they're playing one game a week or two games a week it's it's um they they're learning more because they they 
the 20 over game is evolving at a rapid rate right mm -hmm. and um different things are starting to happen people are trying to experiment with different stuff so i it's key to to be able to get reps doing it you know and um against people that are very skilled because i mean the difference between an amateur bowler and you know a professional bowler is that the amateur bowler is going to make more mistakes than a professional bowler right mm -hmm. that's basically it they might bowl at the same pace or whatever but it's the consistency in what each other um they do yeah it would have been ideal to see them playing more against top level opposition going into into the world cup because um that experience is invaluable and also it would give especially as you said the bowling is is, is fine but in terms of the batting it would give those batters especially a chance to play consistently against top level opposition because they have quality they really do because you look at Anjas Gauss and and Gajaran Singh and Manon Patel and all of these, these guys Jones um is you know these guys really have a, a real quality but in terms of playing quality cricket playing consistent cricket that is key and I hope this Bangladesh series coming up will give them a good chance to, to do that because I think we have to look at what Ireland and Pakistan currently they are playing a game that that gives they are, they are getting that sort of opportunity Ireland that is to play against Pakistan a top full member nation um ahead of the World Cup and it gave it would give them so much going into the World Cup and well they're not they're not they're not playing likely they are really taking the game to Pakistan. They're not afraid. And that's the sort well, of approach I think the US have to take against um, top level opposition. One thing you have to remember when you're talking about Ireland is that Ireland have become comfortable playing against full nation countries because mm -hmm. they have played against full nation countries um, for a long time. Yeah. It's a few years now that they've been getting that opportunity, right? Um, when you look at the U.S. team, it's it's a retool because half of the team <coughs> will be representing the U.S. for the first time. Yeah, you know, sure. where whereas um, Ireland, they, one player might be changed out, but they've been a team for a number of years. So you kind of know what somebody would do in a situation, right? You, you, you understand how someone runs between the wicket. You know, if you bat him with Coley, you know, he's going to run really hard. You know what I mean? And you bat with Jadeja, he's going to run really hard. But some other guys might not run as hard between the wicket or recognize the single as quickly. So they would have to learn about each other on the fly yeah well i hope that takes place and and the us can spring a surprise as i started with and get out of this group and help to grow cricket in in, in the america well let me not just say in the americas because in the us and invariably it will spill over into you know the likes of canada and the West Indies even going cricket bigger in the region. So I am hoping that that takes place uh, because I know the, the marketing potential, and that's something we'll talk about another time, Clayton, the marketing potential and all of that with having cricket in the in the US getting to a certain level. We heard it even at, the, at that West Indies cricket conference recently that where they said the US growth, the growth in, of cricket in the US can be a threat to West Indies, and that's something I want to take you up on another time. Um, I'm hoping we have that sort of growth and cricket will continue to strive in, in this region. But one thing I can I promise you is that um, once World Cup is played in the US, yeah. um, it did with soccer, mm -hmm. and I'm sure um it's going to create visibility for cricket and there, there there are a few things that it's probably holding cricket back and 
one of the the simple things is that cricket to play cricket in the US it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Very expensive for the kids. The kids are playing between twenty thousand, twenty five thousand a year to play at the on eleven level. Wow. Right? And um you know they, so that's not an investment in, in college or whatever. But if the cricket is being started to be played regularly in colleges, adopted as a, as a, as a sport, then they would offer scholarships, right? If there's the offer of scholarship on the table, I think it will grow rapidly. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it, it, oh, go ahead. If you think of soccer and all that, there are soccer scholarships, right? So it's, it's not just that soccer is growing, right? And once the colleges adopt it, then you would find that um, the cities would start getting more involved and providing cricket parks and stuff for people to play because most turf wickets in, in the US is private, right? There's, there's n the only turf wicket in the US that's owned by the city is Lauderdale, Lauderdale in Florida. Oh. All of the other turf wickets are private, right? It's, it's much more expensive for people to play on because it's an, a big investment by an individual yeah all right there you have it okay viewers yes we have a brilliant uh, precursor to to what to expect when we have that that discussion regarding the growth of cricket in in the us and what the world cup will bring to 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 the region we certainly will have that conversation again I'm looking deeper at that. Um, that's it for, for today. Thanks for, for having us. Thank you, Clayton. And we will, we will certainly talk again. Okay, pleasure.